Hold that camera. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hello everyone and welcome to Witch Wagon. I thought I'd start off simple and bring you guys up to speed on what is Witch Wagon and how it came about. So, sorry it's not balls to the walls car action today. That's next week. This is the intro story. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been really into cars. You know, I would, I would tear around a playground pretending to be a car. You know, downshifting, bouncing off the rev limiter, drifting in the corners. And that is something that stick, stuck with me my entire life. You know, fast forward through, through the car phases and stuff like that. And I'm a dad now. I have to be practical, I have to be realistic, my cars need boot space, but at the same time I like them to be a bit fun. And since being a parent, we have gone through eight, eight cars, nine cars, trying to find the perfect balance, the perfect fit. And it's been a struggle, like, you know, from taking on SUVs that couldn't even fit a pushchair in the back of it. Uh, you know, just finding out that, you know, seven-seaters, you can't physically put people in the back when you've got car seats in the front bench. You can't fold the seats flat so no one can get in there. You have to post them through the top. It's just crazy. All these things that you never realised as a parent. And... Um, that's what this channel is for. It's basically going to be me, Bertie, nice to meet you, tearing around, discovering all the new features, all the new fun stuff that's coming out on cars and speaking to real life people about what they do, you know, how their cars work for them, their family setup, the scenarios which they put the car through and how it's coping. I'm flapping gums. I'm overthinking this. Straight up overthinking this. So yeah, so basically, the channel is going to be me tearing around all around the country, seeing new cars, testing out new things, seeing can you fit a pushchair in the boot of it, seeing how it lives, listening and speaking to people about how they're using their cars and how it fits with their family life. Is it any good? Uh, all, these, all these key things. And of course, there's going to be a bit of fun along the way. You know, it, it's what it is. So after I, after I kind of decided what this channel was going to be and how it was going to work out, this, the main struggle was access to cars. And, you know, I, I, I didn't really want to go down the route of hiring a new one from Enterprise Rent-A-Car every week or buying a new one and trading it in each month. M's would absolutely kill me. Um, you know, I, in my fresh face, the thing, I haven't got clout to just walk into a dealership and be like, hey, can I borrow a car? Um, so I had to think out the box and, and then it suddenly hit me. We got three cars out on the driveway. We've got a collection of car fanatics right on the doorstep. So between us, I'm thinking we've got enough cars to at least get something started. So I made a few phone calls. Can I call you back, Bertie? Got a few friends on board, picked up a camera and went out rolling. As it stands from today, we are six episodes down six episodes down so next week we've got the review of the jeep wrangler followed by the range rover the golf r <laughs> santa fe the what is it ford ranger wild track then the mercedes e250d then we're in uncharted territory where kim for 4a motor group has done us an absolute solid and i think to quote her is just let us know what you need and we'll get it ready. So thanks, Kim. I'm looking forward to week seven. Shit's gonna get real. I'm in a sweet spot. I'm feeling good. The sun is shining, I knew it would The world's a playground, I'm in the clouds Let me show you what
Oh, shitballs. Don't forget to like and subscribe.